So here are a couple of our new hives. I've got the cab hive going that we just put bees in a couple of days ago from uh, Rwanda we got the cab hive and then we got the Ethiopian traditional hive that's a uh, slightly different design and both of these uh, we actually introduced the bees from these cultural baskets you see these cultural baskets that's where we source stored the bees and you can see maybe a little bit of honeycomb inside but uh, they're very healthy the bees are enjoying the sunshine and they are building up brood boxes and once they are actually got some good numbers then we'll actually put the supers on top and get some honey so here we go with our pond and the tarp is looking good on this side we bonded the tarps today they're looking great and the waterfall in the background there and the tilapia are fed twice a day and they really come up and they've grown a lot in the last week that I've seen them so it's quite amazing to see their growth Beautiful sunset on the Hope Ethiopia project. Looking at the fish pond, the chicken farm project. Of course, our beehives down at the end here too. So this will be probably one of the last times we'll see it in the stick frame stage. Pretty soon it's gonna be covered in a stucco and then we'll do a light plaster on that and paint it. So we start the mudding and stucco process of the dairy house. So this is what's going on here. You guys are showing us how they do it. So we've seen this done before, so this is pretty cool. You grab the mud, which has been curing for like a week, full of straw, yes. and plaster against the house. And you let it dry. So looking good. Take out the mud. The dairy barn's coming along and they're stuccoing the inside. Putting this straw mixed with mud. It's been sitting for a few days. Come along. So once they get the inside done, they'll start working on the outside.